Hey everybody, thank you for joining us on the Twin Energy Podcast. Thank you very much. What? what? Uh, I just wanted to give you guys some tips on where to find us. Uh, the main thing, well obviously you found us if you're watching this, but... Uh, you found us, thank you. We were lost for a little while. <laughs> uh, search, uh, first one is YouTube. Go on YouTube and search Twin Energy, T-W-N-R-G-Y. And also do the same thing on Facebook, search Twin Energy. And then also we have a Patreon account. Our, first off, we have an Instagram account. Do it for the gram, y'all. Gram it up. up. Grammy season's Grammys. coming up. Yeah, folks. Get those grams. We're winning. Likes, comments, whatever. Uh, but yeah, search for us on Instagram. Search Twinergy. And then also, Patreon. We have a Patreon account. That website is www.patreon. And it'll be a backslash T W N. RGY and on patreon you'll be able to see our videos and you'll have an opportunity to contribute if you'd like uh, Whether it's monthly or a one-time contribution. There is expenses that are uh, Factored into this whether it's posting and other things of that sort But if not feel free to continue to watch this for free and enjoy the material that we put out and Adam has some other information in regards to how you can find us all right other things you could do to find a place to say listen to us on is go on Apple iTunes, go on that search bar, type in Twinergy, T-W-N-R-G-Y, and then our podcast will pop up. Also, the same for Spotify, just type in our Twinergy name, it'll come up, and then go on Stitcher, and it'll come up and you'll find us. And you get, you could download an app for Stitcher and Spotify yeah. on your phone. This way it makes it easy. You can get okay. there, yeah. on the go. Yeah, if you have Apple, it's already on the phone, I believe. Yeah, you already have the Apple iTunes app on there. So you have Apple, you have Android, whatever. Whatever you matter, have, what download, your affiliation, just whatever check side it out. you find yourself on. Download Stitcher or Spotify app. Type in Twin Energy and you'll find us. And once you do find us on YouTube, if you could, could subscribe, that'd be amazing. It's just as good as con- contributing financially sometimes. You can subscribe on iTunes as well. Subscribe on iTunes. Don't forget that. Leave comments, leave suggestions. We're open. Open We're for it. Open, ready for any suggestions and comments that you may have. Uh, just let us know. We'll continue to bring information about health and wellness. And just want to say thanks again for listening to us. I'm Aaron. And I'm Adam Fernandez. With the Twin Energy Podcast. Love you guys. Take care. Take care. Love you. Hi, everybody. This is the Twin Energy Podcast. Got Adam. Aaron over here. Woo! And today we're just going to kind of talk about getting a flatter stomach by doing exercises and eating the right diet. Same beach body ready all year long. After the summer. Woo! It's a little late. Sorry about that. Kind of so, I'm going to just start talking off off about exercise. What you kind of want to do, which I try to do on a daily basis, is do at least 10 minutes of various ab workouts, whether it's like a side crunch, a regular crunch, and Nestle's crunch. Nestle's crunch. I don't don't crunch and lunch. I don't do that kind of crunch. No, no, no. But just multiple, probably... mm, Anywhere between six to eight different uh, ab exercises. Just kind of switch it up. Get all the different core muscles activated and tightened up. Your obliques, your lower abs, upper abs, the whole core. Yeah, so did you. Yeah, yeah, as you said, everything kind of mentioned it. But yeah, so it helps that you kind of have that regimen because some people will say, I'm doing the right workouts, blah, blah, blah. Like, what are you doing? Are you specifically focusing on your abs on a daily basis if that's what you're going for and so that this kind of one thing i enjoy doing another thing you could look into doing is to so enjoy doing it i like ab workouts same here a little chill chill relax on the ground do your thing but uh yeah just make sure when you're doing that you're keeping your core tight and you have good form you're not just yeah. trying to Bang it out. Form is everything with abs. Yeah, you don't want to just bang it out, just go quick and then not tightening yourself up. So yeah. that's one thing is key is to keep your core tight while you're doing these ab exercises. This way you're getting that extra added effect. As well as the, as well as the flow of it. You don't want like you kind of alluded to, don't go fast. Just kind of go slow, whatever it may be. Don't just like kind of one, two, try to get a hundred out. Yeah, so also what you want to do is 
do cardio as often as possible, whether it's daily, five days a week, three, four days a week. Do cardio workout pr approximately, say, try 20 minutes a day and where you're kind of at least going a, at a brisk pace where you may be winded a little bit. This way you know that you have an elevated heart rate and you're going to be burning a little bit more fat rather than compared to going outside and just going on a short walk for 20 minutes. So you're going to get that high intensity training going yeah. on. There's so many forms of cardio, whether you're doing the rowing machine, you're swimming, you're running, you're jogging, you're hiking, uh, push-ups, that, that's even cardio. And then another thing which I've done over the off and on over the past couple years is when I'm sitting around at work or driving to work or just sitting around anywhere, I like to keep my core tight rather than just feeling <laughs> relaxed and just all like your stomachs are like blow, just bloated out. That definitely helps just to straighten up your core and it is good because you're just so your guts just not all hanging. And those Kegel muscles as and well. Pushing, it's not pushing up against your uh, abdominal wall and which can possibly create hernia. So yeah, I just yeah. I, I try to do that as often as possible when I catch myself not doing it. I get right to it, whether I'm walking around. And yeah, walking, walking upstairs is where I, I try to tighten it up, or it was walking in general, like a brisk walk, even a bike ride. I try to tighten my abs just to kind of get a little core workout when I'm doing that. And I'd say for me, I can notice a difference when, say, I hadn't done it in a few weeks, and then I, I make it a point to do it on a regular basis over a week or so. The the results are pretty pretty good do you i at least could notice them hey, from mr olympia over there yeah let's try it out it was in vegas a couple weeks ago for the mr olympia contest juniors juniors <laughs> junior edition kind of like master chef junior yeah non steroids no steroids free form and but yeah and just think know this that if you haven't done abs in a while you're probably gonna be sore you didn't most likely you didn't tear anything down there or have a hernia yeah. it's just that it's pretty painful your abs in a while. Mm -hmm, your abs get sore when you haven't done that in a while and thing is go through the pain even though you're sore this day like you did it for day Don't one be day two you're sore do it day three four five just continue to do it go past the pain and make it happen because otherwise no pain, easy, no gain. No pain, no gain. It's easy to get discouraged and then say, I don't want to do this. But you got to make it a habit in order to see any kind of results. So I'm going to pass it on to Aaron and see what he has to say. Just doing exercises, uh, ab exercises, that is, is half the battle. I think the bigger part in one, and if, this is, if, you, if your main focus is showing your abs and having tight abs, Aaron likes to try and do that all the time. Yeah. He walks around the apartment. Shirtless, flexing. <laughs> but no, if your main focus is your abs, these are the things you need to do. Like Adam said, do the exercising, but a bigger part of it is your diet. A lot of people say, hey, I've been doing the exercises, I've been doing the crunches, this, that, and the other, but I haven't really seen that, that great of results. But then, like, like Adam said, are you, you ask them, are you doing cardio? Uh, no, I don't really like to run. It's so boring on the treadmill. There's so many forms like we said, but the main aspect is the diet. And what you need to do is cut out the sugary drinks, whether you're drinking the sodas, you're drinking the, the sports drinks. If you look at those sports drinks, flip them around. Like everybody thinks they're good. They're electrolytes. They're charging you up and allowing you to work harder, work out longer, whatever the case may be, but they have a crap ton of sugar in them. And sugar, and just even look at it, it might say, two or three servings yeah. and you're like oh it's only 10 15 grams of sugar but it's maybe Times 30 dose. it's 45 yeah so just be aware what's on what's in what you're drinking like the sodas they just for the most part if you really want to truly show your abs drink water be strict about it water yeah water is boring it's it's meat and potatoes whatever the case but water helps you get your goal also you want to stay away from the carbs. Like I was saying, sugar, you want to stay from the, the sweets. You want to stay away from the breads, the chips, the potatoes. Carbs are what get you. Carbs create inflammation, and inflammation makes you retain water. That's why you might look a little soft. You might not look as defined as you may want to look. But uh, just like stay away from all the crappy foods. Also, and crappy foods in general, 
I'll say anything fast food, anything can go in line in your car, DoorDash, whatever the heck may be, anything can get instantly, more than likely, it's not that great for you. So kind of stray away from that if that's what your end result is, is to have awesome abs. But also stay away from fatty foods. About probably earlier in the beginning of the summer, Adam and I, we typically use a lot of olive oil, whether it's on our salad, it's in our vegetable shake that we do on a daily basis. And we kind of just dumbed it down significantly. And we did see a lot more definition from not including a lot, as much fat in our diet. So mm -hmm, definitely, the more fat you have, whether it's the cheeses, it's dairy. Like we don't eat too much dairy at all. Dairy's good though. It's good. Cheese, I like tastes cheese. good. And a little quesadilla, wrapping it up. When's the last time you had a quesadilla? <laughs> it's neither here nor there. But uh, they just stay away from the the fatty options. Whether it's like avocados are good fat, but just limit them. Limit the olive oils, limit the cheeses, limit the fatty meats that you may have. Try to have lean meats, whether it's turkey, it's chicken, things of that, meats of that sort, just so you don't pack on that extra fat and you metabolize a lot of the, the food quicker and you don't have all that extra fat kind of lingering in and trying to end up, mess up with your end result of tight abs. But also, uh, like I said, just with the diet, diet is integral. Don't call a diet a way of eating. Your eating habits are eating integral habits. to your abs success. People don't like diets. Yes. People quit diets. So I would say just maybe stick to vegetables and protein, whether you have whatever proteins you want, like meat, protein, chicken, pork, beef. I, we stick, strictly stick to the vegetables. Tofu. Tofu. We st typically stick with the vegetables and maybe a little bit of protein here and there. But also keep in mind, you don't need a lot of protein. The more protein you have, it gets uh, converted into sugar in your body. And like I said, sugar causes- Fat around your belly. Fat around your belly, inflammation in your body, retaining water. So just be aware of what you're taking in and how much you're taking in and also the sugary vegetables, whether it's carrots and some of the other vegetables that do have a lot of sugar. Be aware- Or sugary fruits that people- Fruits are key as well. Everybody think, oh, fruits are healthy. Yes, they can be but they have a lot of sugar, sugar in them. They don't have those little nutrition facts on the back of an apple, but you can definitely go look it up. Just Google nutrition facts of apple, nutrition facts of a banana. banana. Jinx. So banana hammock. <laughs> but, uh, whoa. But yeah, just be aware of what you're putting in. And if you really truly want to have those abs. Or at least a flatter stomach. Flatter stomach, just clean things up. Whether you're eating stuff or you're drinking things. But uh, just some of the ab exercises that I prefer are mainly ones like planking where you basically tighten up your core. That's what I like to do, and, and even crunches. But as Adam was saying, form is the best, key. is key. It's integral to a good ab workout. So keep that stomach tight. And also just do it slowly. Don't try to pound out 100. Try to slowly do 25. And you'll see after 10 or so, it is pretty difficult. Mm -hmm. and, and it is very challenging. But feel the burn, feel it. Bernie Sanders, feel the burn. Whoa, it's not getting political. Yeah, my bad. Uh, but uh, yeah, just diet is 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 amazing. As well as the exercise, I'd say like diet sixty, exercising forty percent of the of the pie. But yeah. Um, so yeah, thank you for joining us here on the Twenty G Podcast. Make sure you do what you need to do if you truly want awesome abs or just even a flatter stomach, like Adam said. All right, thank you very much. This is Adam. I'm Aaron. And have a good night. Love you all. Take care. Love you.